Hi, I'm Alec McLennan, founder of Good Nature Organic Lawn Care. So it's summer, the toughest time of the year for the cool season grasses in your lawn. They love growing when the daytime highs are in the 50s or 60s, not the 80s. Some grasses are worse than others. Bank grass and rough bluegrass grow in patches and go dormant before other cool season grasses, so you end up with dead brown looking patches of grass in your lawn. They're not really dead, they're just waiting until it gets cooler to recover. If you have this problem, you have two options. One, you can either live with it and just accept that it's part of nature, or two, you can eliminate the grasses in your lawn and start over with tougher, more heat tolerant grasses. If we can help with that, if that's something you're interested in, just give us a call. The other trouble for lawns in the summer, especially this summer with all the rain, is annual weeds. Weeds like the dreaded crabgrass, oxalis, black medic, purslane, and spurge are all sprouting from seed and growing like crazy. They love the hot weather, so they can become really noticeable in your lawn at this time of year when the grass is struggling. The good news about annual weeds is that they'll die on their own when the weather gets cold. Using a chemical to kill them is not a great idea because it can hurt your grass and is kind of pointless since they'll die on their own anyway. If you have a lot of annual weeds, there are two things you can do to help keep them from coming back once they die off. The best way to keep annual weeds from sprouting is by shading the soil with a nice tall lawn. That means mowing it high. The higher the level of the grass, the harder it will be for the seeds to get sprouted. And also, if you don't mind clover, you might even consider planting micro clover, which is like regular clover, but flowers a lot less, and helps crowd out annual weeds by doing a really good job of shading the soil. The second way to discourage annual weeds is one of the most important things you can do to have a nice lawn anyway. Seed it with modern, tougher grass varieties. Grass plants have a lifespan, and regularly seeding to thicken your lawn will keep it looking better and help keep annual weeds from getting started. Just so happens that there is one time of the year that is best to seed your lawn, and that is right about now, August and September. It's because the soil is nice and warm, so the seed sprouts well, as long as you water a little bit, and the nights are getting cooler, which gives the grass ideal growing conditions. There are a few different ways to seed, and they all vary in effectiveness. At Good Nature, we found that the best bang for the investment is to slice seed using a special machine to help the seed come in contact with the soil far better than just throwing the seed down or aerating and then throwing the seed down. So if you're interested in improving your lawn, just let us know and we can draw up a plan to thicken it with the seeding. A lot of our clients choose to do a part of their yard each year and not the whole thing. Just the front, for example, this year or maybe the back next year, this helps keep down the price and makes watering easier. Another thing that we've had more than our normal share of this year is rain. All the rain we've had this year is great, and things are generally greener than normal this time of year. But along with the rain comes a few issues. First is the annual weeds that we talked about earlier. They get all the water they need to sprout, so there are a lot more annual weeds, like crabgrass, than normal this year. Second is there's more fungal diseases, like dollar spot, brown patch, and red thread, little brown patches in your lawn. The grass normally recovers from these, but they don't look great. Seeding will also help the lawn recover. The biggest concern that the rain brings is grubs. Grubs start out as beetles during the summer. You've probably heard of the Japanese beetle because it hangs around during the day on your plants, maybe stacked on top of each other, getting busy making eggs and laying them in your soil. But there are other beetles, like chafer beetles, that don't fly around until nighttime that you probably don't see. All of these beetles lay eggs in your lawn and soil, and when the eggs get moisture, they turn into grubs at a much higher rate than in a dry year. So it looks like this year will be a banner year for eggs to turn into grubs. To help protect your lawn, we recommend a natural grub control. Instead of using a chemical that covers your lawn for the summer like the traditional lawn care companies do, we use a totally natural soil organism called a beneficial nematode. The more nematodes you have, the fewer grubs you'll have. Now is the best time to apply nematodes to reduce the grub populations to a manageable level. The good news is that they're totally non-toxic and they'll also help reduce flea and tick populations. So give us a call if you'd like to get on the schedule for our natural grub control treatment. Finally, just want to say thank you for choosing Good Nature to care for your lawn trees and shrubs in a healthy, natural way that's better for you, your family, and our environment. The lawns may not always look great at this time of year, but if there's anything that you're unhappy with, just let us know and we'll help you understand what's going on and develop a plan to fix it for you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. We truly appreciate your business and your support. Have a great rest of the summer.